Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw Saturn. First open a new document, change the stroke to none and the fill to any color you like. Then press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a small circle. Now we will add a gradient to it to resemble the look of Saturn. First open the swatches panel and choose any colors you like for the gradient. Here is the color group I will be using for the circle. And this color group I will be using for the rings. After you select your colors, open the gradient panel and add these colors to the gradient slider. Just mix lighter and darker shades together. And make sure the type is set to radial. If you would like to learn more about how to use the gradient tool, please click on this preview window. With the circle selected, press the letter G on your keyboard to place the gradient slider directly on the object. And let's make some changes. Click on the top of the circle, hold, and while pressing down the shift key, drag it all the way to the bottom. Now let's increase the radius of the curves. Click on this black solid circle, hold, and drag it to the right. Now select the circle, click on the bottom of the bounding box, and move it up to distort it just a tiny bit. Let's move it up and lock this layer. Next we'll create Saturn rings. First switch to the ellipse tool and change the fill to a different color. Now draw a big circle. Next we'll cut the center of it. Press the letter S for the scale tool and then press enter. Type 60 for the uniform and click copy. Now select both shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. Now let's add the second gradient with the darker colors. You could leave it as it is or you can add a tiny gap to separate the rings. To do that, first change the fill to none and the stroke to white. Then click somewhere in the center and draw a circle. Next open the stroke panel and change its weight to about 3 points. Now select both circles, open the Align panel, make sure the Align to Selection is checked and select the horizontal and the vertical Align Center. Next we'll subtract the white circle from the rest. First select only the white circle, then go to Object, choose Expand and click OK. This will convert it into a shape. Now select both shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. And we have a gap between those two rings. It is easier to see it when I show the transparency grid. Now let's readjust the gradient of the smaller ring. To do that, first make sure that the fill is selected. Then click on the smaller ring to select it and press the letter G to show the gradient slider. And now you can adjust the gradient right on the object or open the gradient panel and do it from here. When you are done, click away to deselect. Now select both rings and let's bring the opposite sides closer to form an ellipse. Next go to layers and unlock the first shape layer. Select everything, open the Align panel, make sure the Align to Artboard is checked and select the horizontal and the vertical Align center. And let's make a few more adjustments to the size and the gradient. In the next few steps we'll bring part of the rings to the back to get this effect. To do that we'll use the Eraser tool. First let's duplicate these rings. Using the selection tool, select this group of rings. Now press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. And we have another copy. Now let's lock the bottom layer. 
and make sure that only the top layer is selected. Then select the eraser tool. Now first press and hold down the Alt key and then click on the artboard, hold and drag your mouse across the center line of the rings. And this is what you will get. If you would like, you can change the name of the tab layer. Now all you need to do is to unlock the other layer, select the layer with the planet and move it between the two other layers. If necessary, you can still go back and adjust the rings or the planet. Next we'll cut a part of the rings to get the effect of a shadow being cast across the rings. First select everything and let's rotate it. Now lock the layer with the planet and with the cut rings. Then select the layer with the rings going behind the planet and using the eraser tool delete just a small part of the rings. Now unlock both layers, select everything and rotate it. Finally, let's add a background. Select the rectangle tool, change the fill to black and draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard. Now move the background layer to the bottom. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.